We want to take a look in this video at basic order of operations. There's four main mathematical operations that we need to perform. They are addition and subtraction and multiplication and division. And we can sort of group multiplication and division together and addition subtraction together. So we need to look after our order of operations. Our order of operations tells us that we need to do the multiplication and division first and then the addition and subtraction second. We also need to remember that we read mathematics just like we read literature and we need to go from left to right as we work our way through a problem. And the order of operations is very important and I'm going to give you an example here to show you why. A very simple example, 3 plus 6 divided by 3. And I'm going to write that again here. In the first one on the left here, I'm going to follow the correct order of operations. My order of operations, again, remember, I do my multiplication and division first, and then my addition and subtraction. And so as I work through this problem, if I do my division first, I land up with 3 plus and 6 divided by 3 is 2. And notice that I've just rewritten this first part, the 3 and the plus sign, because I'm not uh, dealing with that. I'm just going to deal with the 6 divided by 3. And so now carrying on here, I have 3 plus 2, and 3 plus 2 is 5. And that is the correct answer. On the right-hand side here, I'm going to move from left to right, but I'm not going to follow my order of operations. And notice how it's different. If I don't follow my order of operations and I just move from left to right, and I do 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 divided by 3, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So you see, I get a nice number of 3, but it is the incorrect order of operations, and that answer is incorrect. So you can really get two very different answers uh, depending on whether you follow order of operations or not. Well, let's take a look at some practice problems with order of operations. First one is 7 minus 6 divided by 2. So very similar to uh, the first problem that we did, we need to look after this division first. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and I rewrite the 7 and the minus sign because uh, I'm only going to do one step per line. And now 7 minus 3 is 4. To give you a number line approach here of the last step, the 7 minus 3, just to review, if we put 7 on a number line there and 0 is here, this is not drawn to scale, 7 minus 3 really means start at 7 and then move 3 units, and the negative sign indicates that we're moving to the left. So we start at 7 and we move 3 units to the left, and if we move 3 units to the left, then we land up at 4. In the next example problem, we have 16 divided by 4 plus 3 minus 2. So again, we need to do our division first, and I'm only going to do one step per line. 16 divided by 4 is 4, and now I rewrite all the things that are left, and I have 4 plus 3 minus 2. And now we need to do our uh, addition subtraction because we have no more multiplication division left and it's easiest to move left to right and 4 plus 3 is 7. Notice that I'm rewriting the minus 2 because I'm only going to do one step per line. Uh, you can uh, you could do all these in one step but I'm going to do them step by step just to make sure that I don't confuse you. And now we have 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. In the third example problem now, we have 12 divided by 3 plus 4 times 2. Well, now we have two 
uh, multiplication divisions, and those need to be done first. Again, I'm only going to do one step at a time, and the, the line that I'm writing should get more simple as I move down. So first I do 12 divided by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4, and now I rewrite the rest of the problem that I haven't dealt with yet. And now I have 4 plus 4 times 2, and my order of operations tells me that I need to do my multiplication here first. And so now I have 4 plus, and 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 plus 8 is 12. So there's a look at three, uh, three example problems dealing with orders of operations. So remember, you need to make sure that you do your multiplication and division first, and then your addition subtraction. Really, the order that you do your multiplication division, as long as you do it first, doesn't really matter. And again, the order that you do your addition subtraction doesn't really matter as long as you make sure you do it after the multiplication division. And you always want to make sure that you move from left to right through the problem. 